Oaken wood is under threat from a quarry expansion. If approved, this would lead to more loss of ancient woodland than HS2 and the Lower Thames Crossing combined. We're here today to meet a local councillor and campaigner to hear their views of the site and to hear how the local community is being impacted. So I'm Stuart Jeffrey. I'm one of the councillors on Maidstone Borough Council. Oakenwood, it's all behind me, around us. Um, it's, uh, it's ancient woodland. It's been here since at least 1600. Incredibly rich in biodiversity. The fact it's coppice doesn't mean it's not ancient woodland. It still has that irreplaceable aspect, particularly around the soil. There's rock formations under this wood that are from the Paleolithic period, which are recognised as an area of special scientific interest. My name's Julie and I got involved because I really care about the countryside and I've seen lots of countryside destruction in this area. This woods has been here for hundreds of years. The quarry and the incessant want to increase the size of it is affecting not just the environment, the woodland, but also where people live. When the blasts go off, we feel them roads and roads away. The other issue for me is the protected species that live here. So there's the hazel dormouse, for example, and, and some people have been lucky enough to capture photos of the dormouse in these actual woods. Mention of turtle doves, night jars, there's the slow worms and the reptiles. If this was happening in the Amazon forest, the whole world would be kicking off. Because it's happening in Kent, it doesn't seem to matter, and it does matter. We all contribute towards climate change. Yeah, I suppose the, the amazing thing about the woodland is I keep hearing and finding and seeing new wildlife. I had no idea that we had roe deer in, in, in the woodland, but they're here. Government needs to intervene and say no to this quarry. The protections on ancient woodland need to increase significantly. This morning there was a story of a 72-year-old man who is protesting to rescue some trees. He got up yesterday to hear a chainsaw and people were trying to take down the trees. So to protect them, he's gone and stood under them. And he has said categorically, he will go out every day to make sure those trees don't get chopped down. And that's how important the woodlands are to the people of this area. We need a law to stop ancient woodlands being cut down for profit for good. To help support our campaign and protect ancient woodlands, please go to Ancient Woodlands UK and sign our petition to call for greater legal protection in the UK.